Are you not at the top? No. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's been kind of brought to my attention that some of y'all may not know who I am. I am Dusty. Yeah, I'm here to show you the crazy ways that we do things here. We made it out to Boiling Springs. We're at the 13 bridges, and this is the entrance. Don't walk across that. Looks like they raked that for a reason. Let me show you what's going on here. Hang on. See, that's the entrance going in. And they were out here raking it because, as you can see, they're raking it because they can come by and check and see who's been out here. Because these are for day use only. Sunrise to sunset. But we just got around there so they won't leave no footprints. And... Yeah. Come on up. Back there, left a single footprint. I noticed that. I hope we don't get busted. If we get <laughs> caught, it's all your fault. All your fault if what? we get caught. Oh, these woods are awesome looking. Extremely beautiful. And then extremely creepy looking, too. This is the 13 bridges. Look there, bridge number one already. See, this little creek bends and winds all the way here down the trail because back up over there is where the little lake is. And I do mean little, that's kind of a crappy little lake. What is that? Marker number six. Huh. Interested. Ew. It's like soggy and wet here. It's all muddy. It's a little chilly out tonight. You see the tracks? Somebody's been there. riding something out here. There were deer tracks back there. Yes, there are lots of deer, lots of wildlife out here, but we don't have, like, bears. Mountain lions occasionally pass through the area, but that's about it, and that's only every once in a while. The only other wildlife we really have out here is, uh, you know, rodents, squirrels, rabbits, porcupines, raccoons, but we do have deer and uh, wild dogs, coyotes, we have small wolves, they're called red wolves, but nothing to worry about out here. Not animal wise, anyways. Hey guys, be sure to smash that like button. We're here before dark, kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. I'm coming up on bridge number two. By the time we get to the 13th bridge, it should be dark. Another trail going off up that direction. Uh, we haven't been out here in probably 15 years. Oh, maybe longer. It's extremely, extremely freaking weird out here though. Very wet and sloppy. It'll dry up when we get further up, though. We haven't had any rain in a while, so I don't understand why it's all wet through here. Yeah, we're in a bird van.
bridge number three. This is really cool how it all winds around and bends and turns. I need to bring my other camera out here and take some good photos. What bridge number was that? That was number three. Here comes number four right there. Tell them about the stories we had when we were little. Now, when we were little, growing up, we were always told that the Satanists were out here uh, worshiping and everything because they got kicked out of a cemetery in town. How true any of that is, I really don't know. But I guess we'll see. Now, I've been chased out of here when I was a kid during the daytime. Uh, was well, no animal, like I said, we don't have predator animals around here. Had to have been a person. But it didn't, I never really actually seen anybody, but we had just that eerie feeling we were being followed. And, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. But when we started running, it really felt like we were being chased by something and every time we looked back behind us we could see just a glimpse of something but that was it uh, i don't know maybe it's just our imaginations you know because we were kids but it's I hard to say that. when i was a teenager we were out here and we were walking home from Judy's woods and we saw a group of people around a, a fire and when they saw us, we ran. Well, I don't know if the stories are true or not, but I am armed. What's up? It's kind of done to go out in the wilderness like this anyways without mm -hmm. arming yourself to, for, for some sort of protection. Whether it be a knife or a, a machete or a hatchet or something. Because you never know. Something could happen and you wind up stuck out here and you have to survive for the night. So you always need some, some, something to help you to survive. What number bridge is that? I do believe that was number four. And this one's number five. And there's supposed to be 13? There's actually more than that, I think. But the 13th bridge is where all the bullshit happened. Apparently, there was a sacrifice there. Um, now I don't know if that's true or not either. There was a sacrifice there and um, some kids sacrificed dogs. Uh, I've heard dogs, goats, I've even heard some little girl got sacrificed there. But I don't know. I think it's all just folklore and a bunch of BS. But it's still really cool stories and some really kind of creepy woods. The darker it gets, the creepier they get. So we'll just keep on going. And these stories have been around for generations. Yes, yes, so they've been around forever. I do believe this cool. is number seven. And I'm starting to get that feeling like we are being watched. Like something is... We've gotten the attention of something. Not that something doesn't want us here, it's just that we're being watched, is what I feel like. Uh, does every bridge keep getting taller and taller? I remember them all being kind of like this right here. When we first started out, they were barely off the ground. Yeah, well, we do kind of go uphill a little bit. At some point in time, that was number, what, that was either seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, I've done lost count. But at some point in time, we'll come across a barbed wire. We'll have to cross through to get to the, I think, the last two or three. But like I say, it's been 15 to 20 years since I've been out here. Probably longer than what most of the people that are going to subscribe to this channel have even been alive. But you know what? It's nice to have somebody that knows what they're talking about, someone that's experienced it, been out here knows the history, the, 
the area. And I promise I try not to cut away. The only reason I do is cut any at all is because the phone just quits recording. But we always stop where we're at, what we're doing, make sure we get the phone back up for recording because I just don't have a, a proper lens for my other camera yet. Yeah, he's just starting out. These woods are really kind of creepy. See, there's behind us now. There's like no hint of civilization out here. None whatsoever. It's, you would not believe that you're, we're still inside of a state park. But yes, you get far enough back in here, it's kind of creepy. Definitely kind of creepy, especially all the dead wood laying around. tree stump. Okay, this is either, I think this is bridge number eight. Because I think after number nine is when we hit the bob wire, and then 10, 11, and 12 are on the other side of it. Or 10, 11, 12, and 13. This is kind of creepy through here. The tree fell over. An evergreen. Cedar. Oh, it's a cedar. Ooh, what the hell was that? I don't know you came from over there. It was definitely behind us. Like I said, we have wild dogs out here, and when there are coyotes and uh, wolves, but the wolves we have are just the little red wolves. They're not like big vicious wolves or anything like that. And what the hell is going on here? Hang on. And this trail goes up that way. What the hell happened? I don't know. It looks like this area's all been... Messed up pretty good. All these trees are running down. Maybe we can, let's see if it goes up and around. All right, guys, we're going to go up here and see if this goes up and around. Because if not, it looks like we might still be able to get through right that area there. Yeah, it looks but like there's where the old bridge, I do believe, used to be went across. Right through there. But it's been too long. Hang on, I want to look at something. I think we can get around this way and save ourselves the walk. It has been way too long since I've been out here. We're still on a path. Just kind of have to duck a little bit. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, another flash. You got another light on you? The one on my phone just ain't doing that justice. Look at that. That is wild looking. Cool as hell. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that really, that helps out a lot. Look at that old stomp. Just snapped it right off, it looks like. Got all rotted. There's the tree. Yep, the tree's laying on there. 
Runs down there. This is amazingly poor up. Careful, baby. <laughs> Watch my step. I think that is the original trail right there. That's it. I wonder why they didn't want anybody coming this way anymore. I don't know, but where does it go from here? I don't remember. See, it, it used to this. travel the, the little river. Yeah, and it went right alongside the creek for as long as I can remember. I wonder if it crosses over. Be careful, baby. Because there's the creek. This hasn't been walked on in years out here. They took out the uh, they took it all out. There's another tree that's been knocked down. Can't see You'd it down see that here. Probably part of the bridge right there. Yeah, probably. And there's where another bridge was, in, or tree was. Yeah. My flashlight's almost dead. Okay, well. I see some of the moon over there. On the there edge of the hill. There may have been. Come on. Let's go look. Like I said, I am armed. I am not scared. I will not run away. <coughs> look, there's a bench. Look, why is there a picnic table out here in the middle of everywhere? Yeah, and look, there's trees. They're stacked into that tree. Holy crap. Look at that. And then it runs on down to the next stump. And that runs out this way. Dude, this is definitely done by somebody. Wait, there's a structure on top of the hill. Hello? There's somebody or something out here. I can hear them moving in the trees. Hello? I don't know either. There is a structure up there. Right up there on top of that hill, there is a structure. This is very freaking bizarre. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry I had to stop there for a second, guys. I had to get my weapon out. Um, definitely do not feel safe here. Looks like I know you can't see it from my camera view, but it looks like there is somebody off in the trees right there. Straight out that way. See, and I thought I seen him right over here. When we were back there.
What the hell is up here? I think we may have found... No, we have not crossed any... Bob wire fences. Bob wire fences. But this is what I thought was a structure. Maybe it's a new campsite, new campground. This is the little structure I seen. And look, more picnic tables. But that don't look like, I mean, that might be something the park did, but it don't look like it. What's that stump? What the hell is this? Wait, I can see light. I see it too. It's more picnic area. Yeah. This looks like another picnic area. Are we at a Rapaho land? It says a Rapaho. Just on a post out here in the forest. And it looks like there is campground out here. What the hell is that? A log stuck in a tree. Okay. Well, I don't know what this is, guys. I've never seen this before. This is... This is definitely <laughs> something new. I don't know what happened with the 13 bridges, but this is definitely something I've never seen out here before. So we're going to explore. Take a look around. I know it's hard for you guys to see anything on the camera, so I'm going to try to Try to film as much as I can. If you see anything, let us know. But I do apologize for the the darkness of it all. And it's still not that dark out. I mean, <laughs> we've got a road. Look, there's still some light out. But man, we're on a road, a little path here. There just is not enough light. There's a building over there. I just need to move over there by the building. I don't know, maybe slope. That's the road out there. There's somebody's house on the other side of the highway. Well, you don't need to go to the highway. And this is a campground of some sort because that one says Kiowa. So we're definitely in some sort of a campground. I have never seen. So I guess we need to come back here during the daytime so we can show everybody what is look an outhouse <laughs> so we show everybody what we're talking about about this being a campsite because you cannot see crap on my video look there's the shitter there's the outhouse oh my god <laughs> yeah gross what's this one this one must be the women's because <laughs> the door's off to the side like you gotta step in and turn. And there's a wall. Look, there's another one. Oh, it's double sided. There's another one on the other side of it. There's another one. Let's go around. Yeah, there's a door. Oh, look. That one's got three holes. Look at that. You can poop and conversate all at the same time. <laughs> I don't think these have been used in years. Uh, they look like it, but I have never seen this place. Thought I'd been all over this place. 
I have lived here all my life and have never. There's another one of them posts. Tamaha. Tamaha, whatever. I can't read it. They're almost like camp names. Yeah, they're little campsites. I wonder if, like, this is an old Boy Scouts camp. Like the ones you used to have to pinch their tent? Yeah. I wonder if this is what this is, an old Boy Scouts camp. That they still, they probably still use it, too. It's really hard to say. See, there's a little fire pit. Getting really hard to see anything because it's getting so much darker. My camera, all you can see because it's my stupid cell phone, is the fucking ground. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse my language. It's the freaking ground or my orb of light in front of me when it's on the ground or on a tree or something stupid. So, see, look. It's not really all that dark out yet. We definitely should have brought uh, it's not dark, dark. extra batteries. The, uh, the flashlight, yes. <laughs> oh, what's this fence to? Look, that's gated off. There's a wire out here. There's, yeah. Made a drink. There's a place to get There's your drink. Flagpoles. There's flagpoles. Yeah, or, this is definitely somewhere to get a drink. And back in there, there's flagpoles straight back there. I know you guys can't see them, but there are three flagpoles back there. It looks like it's probably f like Boy Scouts or something. I'm betting that's where they do their coat of arms type stuff. But here's another trail that says day use only. Sunrise to sunset. That. Yes. Why is it all fixed off like that? I don't know, but we can go through right there. Apparently we're not listening to the sign. What sign? I didn't see no sign. I'm illiterate. Hello? Well, here we go. We're going through. I'm sorry it is so damn black, guys. Why is it when you get over there? Why is there to see somebody? You know, I don't know. And the sound came from this direction. Yeah, it did. It did, actually. Earlier, the sound we heard. There was a sound we heard earlier when we were walking on the trails over there looking for the 13 bridges that definitely came from this direction and so we're going to try to keep a lookout uh, hopefully you guys can see what we see which I seriously doubt it because I'm on a crappy little phone uh, but we'll come out here during the daytime during the daylight and shoot another video and show you the trails that we were walking on show you the little campsite from back that direction and let you know what all is going on? I am sorry for the poor quality of this video. Uh, we'll get better at it. Well, I'll get a better lens from my other camera. And it'll have a better lighting source. And it's really hard to see with this light shining in my eye. But it's okay. It's what we have to do to entertain you. Okay, hang on. Right. Hang on, we got a problem here. Look, there's a fork in the road. What was that? That sounded like maybe an owl. Did you guys hear that? It came from that direction. Look, we can go that way, we can go that way, or we can go that way. Back the way we came. That's an owl. It is an owl? That's got to be an owl. That sounds like a freaking owl. Let's go this way. Okay, let's go towards the sound. Well, yeah. Okay. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> we don't run. We hear something. We go to it. Come on now. You know how this is. Hey, running? Yeah. If we had to run, I'm going to get killed. <laughs> I'm too old to run.
What was that? I don't know. There's something right there. I was just seeing its red eyes. Is it called an animal? You know, I wouldn't doubt it. Even deer, believe it or not, deer will follow you and will they'll make noises and you will feel that eerie feeling like you're being followed out in the woods and it could simply be just a deer i mean we did see a whole bunch of them coming in and i do mean a whole bunch of them and yes they are known to to follow people because it's just curiosity every animal is curious as to what is out and about in its forest that is not supposed to be here or isn't usually here, or whatever the case may be. But, we don't really have to worry about like a predatorial animal, except for maybe like wild dogs or, or coyotes. Um, every once in a while, yes, we, we do get that one stray mountain lion that will pass through the area. He's right there in that tree. There he is. Oh, hi Mr. L. There he goes. He did not like my light shining on his face. No, he did not. But then again, that's probably why they're nocturnal. But he was a big one. That was a big spotted owl that was just right up there. He was right up there in that tree. I don't know if you could see it or not. But, yeah, it's pretty hard to see. But, yeah, he was right there in that tree. Wow, this is just horrible quality. And I do apologize. I didn't expect it to be that bad. I really didn't. I kind of expected a little bit better of a quality out of it, but I mean, well, it's got its own fucking light for Christ's sake. Yeah, but look. It was easier when we did the dumpster diving video. We were in city limits, and there's lights everywhere. Yeah, I know, but you figure when it gets dark out here, it would still pick up a little bit, even having the help from the flashlights. But I need to get some better lights for this mag light because it will be like sunlight part in the darkness. And that's what I should have done was picked up batteries before we came out. It is really hard to see anything. Your light's helping a little bit better. But I know you guys can't see anything. So, you know, I understand if you don't like the video, if you don't watch it, trust me, I get it. For those of you who do, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, I'm probably going to, I think I'll just go ahead and end the video here because you can't really see anything of what's going on. And like I said, I do apologize for that. Uh, i get better lens, another lens for my camera that actually kicks ass. And you'll be able to see anything and get some more light, battery power for this, this flashlight here. Because trust me, there's nothing, just about nothing better than a mag light. Oh, for a second I thought we were coming to a dead end. But, <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here, and I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Hey guys, check this out. I know I just signed off at the end of that video, but holy crap, look at this. We just found this walking. What was that? Somebody has, uh... Anyway, we were walking down the trail, and we found all this. Look at that. Somebody has built them, like, a little structure here. But that is way too small for any, like, person to... Well, no, I guess a couple little kids could fit in there. How cool is that? There's enough room to lay down. How cool is that? 
just along the trail. The trail's just right there, guys. For some reason, I feel a little closer. And we're just right off of it. And we come across this. That is badass. And there is something in the woods behind us. Maybe it's the guy that lives here. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that little structure with you. I thought that thing was just really cool. Uh, smash the like button. I'm sorry for the crappy video, but be sure to smash and subscribe to my channel. Uh, once again, I'm going to sign off of here, and thank you guys for being here. Awesome. Uh, I'm definitely get back out here tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow, a day or two anyways. Want some daylight, and I will see you then. Thank you. Hey, right, there's our home right there, the way home. We found the old road that they closed off out here years and years ago. And just on the side of the other gate there, a little, maybe 100 foot down, we we're parked. So we found our way out. Uh, it's been kind of a crappy video and... What the hell? Something dying? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Fucking bird! Scared the creep right out of me. Oh look, there's another trail. But anyway, <laughs> before the birds crapped us or scared the crap out of us, um, we found the old road here that they've closed off. There's another campsite way back that direction there, and behind us. And this road used to just take you straight to it. But they closed it off, I'm not sure why, but they closed it off years and years ago. Here's the little gate. We just go around. See, day is only. Sunrise to sunset. I think we've been here a little longer than that. But when we were driving through earlier taking pictures and stuff, right up there is where we seen all the deer. Well, we've seen more of them you know, going through the park, but right up there is where we got really, really close to some, and tried to get some decent pictures for you guys, but I don't know, uh, i have to wait until I check the footage to see what we got, but, sorry, apparently I wasn't shining in my eyes, <laughs> awesome, anyways, we're here, we're back to the car, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel so you'll get all the uploads, you know, all the notifications when I upload. Um, I will upload again in a day or two when I come out here during the daytime and get some footage of it all. And hopefully, hopefully in about a week or so, I'll have enough cash to where I can actually order the damn lens I need. So that way I won't shoot crappy videos. Anyway. Uh, it's still fun. It is fun. It is fun getting out here and moving around. But anyways, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.